IIT Guwahati designs electricity free radiative cooler as AC alternative. Good afternoon and warm welcome. You're watching Education News Network where we get you the latest developments in education at the top of the hour. This is Nitya reporting from ENN and the daily stories are Researchers at IIT Guwahati have designed an affordable and effective passive radiative cooling system that does not require electricity to operate. This radiative cooler coating material is an electricity free cooling system as it can be applied on the rooftops and functions both during the day and night time to provide an alternate to the conventional air conditioners. Passive radiative cooling systems operate by emitting the heat absorbed from the surroundings in the form of infrared radiations that can pass through the atmosphere before getting dumped into the cold outer space. Most passive radiative coolers operate only at night. For daytime operation, these coolers need to reflect entire solar radiation as well. Until now, these cooling systems are not able to provide sufficient cooling at daytime. But this is where the IIT Guwahati innovation is unique. IIT Guwahati researchers set out to resolve these issues and bring out an affordable and more effective radiative cooling system that can operate round the clock. Ashish Kumar Chaudhary, research scholar at IIT Guwahati, under the supervision of Debrata Sikdar, assistant professor, Department of Electronics and Electrical Engineering, IIT Guwahati, along with his research team, has designed and modeled this passive radiative cooler. Debrata Sikdar said, these radiative coolers requiring no external energy sources for their operation could be one of the best alternatives to replace the conventional air conditioning systems used to cool buildings and automobiles in countries experiencing hot weather, such as India. Unlike traditional cooling technologies that dump the waste heat into the surroundings, radiative cooling is a unique process that cools an object on the earth by sending excessive heat directly into the extremely cold universe. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, do log on to our website theenn.com and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Signing off, this is Nitya.